Namaste. My name is Dr. Suhas Kshirsagar and I am the director of Ayurvedic Healing and an advisor for Kerala Ayurveda Academy. What I am going to discuss today is the importance of study of Ayurveda to many of the yoga instructors or anyone who is on the path of having a yogic lifestyle as a way of life. Because as, as a teacher, as a faculty at Kerala Ayurveda Academy, I do see many of our students who are yoga practitioners. Some of them are yoga instructors and teachers. And I have an association with, with numerous of those students who are trying to embrace Ayurveda and yoga together. Because for a long, long time, they are sister sciences. When you look at all the contemporary organizations like Yoga Alliance, International Association of Yoga Therapists, they all emphasis for all the yoga teachers to have a basic know-how and understanding of Ayurveda and vice versa. So in our school also, we emphasize a lot about yoga because at Kerala Ayurveda Academy, we very well understand that is the union of your individuality with the divine intelligence that orchestrates the whole universe and that's the very basis of yoga and ayurveda itself it is a state of being in which the elements and the forces that comprise your biological organisms are in harmonious interaction with the elements of the cosmos in such a state you will experience enhanced emotional psychological and spiritual well-being and you will increasingly notice that the spontaneous fulfillment of all your desires can happen. When we teach Ayurveda to many of the yoga instructors and why I think for all the yoga instructors it's very important to study Ayurveda because Ayurveda actually talks about the physical condition of the body, how the doshas, how the subdoshas are being affected with all the different asanas spine as the most important area that you need to align and open all the blockages within the spine and how the organs and the organ systems are connected and hinged together with your spinal health as such. The, the Raj Yoga aspect related with your mind, consciousness and connecting with the, the higher spirit is all the very basis and for all the yoga teachers to actually come to our Ayurvedic school and study and learn more about the functioning of the mind and the connection of the mind with the cosmic intellect and how your individual intellect is going to connect with the greater functioning of the universe how you're going to regulate the tendencies of the mind, how you're going to open the srotuses and the pathways and the channels of the communication where the Nadi Shuddhi may happen, where you can get rid of the Sthula Mala, which is the grosser impurities, and the Sukshma Mala, which is the subtle impurities. So when a yoga teacher is studying Ayurveda, he has actually even greater depth of understanding of the functioning of human physiology from a Vedic point of view. They get to know the understanding of the mind, they get to know the understanding of all the physiological structures of the dhatus, tissues, malas, as well as the variety of different organ systems. And most importantly, it actually gives you a greater handle on what are the therapeutic interventions one can do. <clears throat> If you, along with the yoga instructor, become an Ayurvedic wellness counsellor, you are going to actually help these people with food, diet, nutrition. And the new buzzword in medicine is therapeutic lifestyle changes. So these therapeutic lifestyle changes are indeed very, very powerful because they are going to really help them align themselves with how the nature is functioning. What is the most ideal time to retire for the day? When you need to start your morning? What is the best time to do the breakfast? What are the different body constitution? How you can design the different set of asanas according to different body constitution? What, it, what is a suitable technique of meditation for a vata person, maybe for a pitta person, maybe for a kapha person? 
or more importantly what you can actually align or help them understand that what are the limitations for for their mental faculties for their physical structures and how yoga and ayurveda can actually work together and give them very very simple tips about spices about some simple herbs about some simple herb formulations and this is exactly what i see in our school many of the yoga instructors who have studied ayurveda have always commented that it has deepened their understanding about the human physiology it has given them even greater confidence to counsel to sit with people and guide them accordingly because you get to understand them really really well you can understand the root cause of imbalances and challenges what people have you can counsel them for their emotional makeup for some of the stressful situations in their life you can guide them some very simple in house detoxification techniques you can give them some simple herbs and herbal formulation so all in all i have always seen that those people who are yoga teachers and studying ayurveda or our ayurvedic students going and doing a yoga teacher training has actually really deepened their understanding and they they take their own personal health life and well being at a level where they feel so good within their body and they are able to actually inspire those changes in their clients and this is very important because you need to walk your talk you need to understand that how you can lead them and guide them to a better pace of health and well being in them that's why i would really invite all the yoga instructors and the yoga teachers and the seekers of a yogic lifestyle to come and deepen their understanding of studying ayurveda with kerala ayurveda academy namaste thank you